We have uh, actually just breaking news in. They have just called the House, and it sounds like Republicans do, in fact, control the House come January. This is for the first time in four years. Our partners at Decision Desk HQ put Republicans before just one seat away from the 218 needed to retake the majority. But again, breaking news just in, the House has been called for Republicans. Now, this afternoon, House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy defeated a leadership challenge but remains short of the votes needed for Speaker. Correspondent Tom Dempsey is live for us in Washington. Tom, with the very latest on this, and again, we have this breaking news. Yeah, that's right. 218 was the magic number for Republicans, and they were waiting really days. You know, today marks, you know, one week after Election Day, and 218 was the magic number for Republicans to get this majority. And after, you know, winning the nomination to be House Speaker, Kevin McCarthy is going to need at least 218 votes to, uh, you know, really secure that nomination when they uh, vote on that, formally vote on that on the official House floor come January. But, you know, we're continuing to track all the races, decision desk, you know, there's still some races that are still undecided. At last check, there were 15, but again, just into our newsroom, Republicans hitting uh, 218. That gives them the majority in the House, and now uh, they're gonna get set to work on all sorts of issues right now. It's been a very busy day on Capitol Hill, Nicole. You know, we were tracking all sorts of things, and now, you know, Republicans were expecting to hit 218. So earlier today, they did have these uh, House leadership races. And as we said, uh, Kevin McCarthy came out on top to get the nomination for House Speaker. But we're also following, you know, a developing situation over in the Senate uh, with Republicans. Uh, earlier today, we learned that uh, Senator Mitch McConnell will be challenged for the Senate uh, minority leader position by uh, Senator Rick Scott. That's at least one of the races we're continuing to track right now. Uh, Senator McConnell spoke a little while ago, uh, you know, earlier this evening, saying he already believes he has the votes no matter when this vote uh, happens. He's been getting some pushback uh, from Republicans uh, for the delay. Uh, you know, some Republicans were calling for a delay to uh, this uh, Senate minority leader vote due to that runoff that's happening uh, in Georgia, that runoff. Uh, you know, they wanted to delay that vote until, you know, after that runoff happens. But again, it's kind of a fluid situation, what's happening in Congress. You know, we were waiting days for some of these races to be decided. And, uh, you know, Democrats are not immune to that either. You know, there's big questions over if Nancy Pelosi could be challenged as a House Speaker. Uh, and, you know, potentially Democrats could go with, you know, a younger or more progressive candidate to lead the party in the House. But earlier today, we actually spoke to a Democratic lawmaker who spoke about sort of this evolving situation and now it's difficult to really you know start planning anything with so much stuff up in the air take a listen it's going to take us a few weeks to figure out what this is going to look like where we can have an effect um, where do we try to um, you know put pressure within uh, within our our caucus to get things it's it's all very confusing at the moment not just for the nation but for all of us about how we can be effective so again, Nicole, really quickly, you know, we're, we're following the House and the Senate. You know, in the Senate, there may be a vote tomorrow. I, I'm stressing the word may because, you know, some Republicans are saying things should be delayed. Mitch McConnell really hasn't committed to delaying that vote. And then over in the House, obviously, we as we're tracking today, uh, Kevin McCarthy, uh, the nominee for House Speaker. But that's not official yet until there's an official House vote come January when all the House members are seated, Nicole. All right. You know, and I was uh, my producer was talking in my ear, Tom, as we were tossing to you with this breaking news again, Republicans taking control of the House. It sounds like a House race in California is what, in fact, determined that. So, Tom, just talk about what this means now as far as a split of Congress, because the first two years of President Biden's presidency, uh, we had both the House and the Senate Democrat control. That now changes. Well, let's keep in mind, too, the, I mean, these numbers are going to be important to watch. You know, the Republicans are looking at a very slim majority in the House. Uh, you know, Decision Desk HQ is going to keep updating these numbers. We know Lauren Boebert is up in Colorado. She's a Republican, for those who may not know, uh, and she's winning that race there. But, you know, there's still, I think, at last check, I think 14 races that makes now that are undecided. So we're going to be really paying attention to that margin. And the reason why that's so important is because, Republicans are really going to have to stick together and really work on any sort of divisions that are within the party to really, you know, have that to really use that majority to their advantage. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.